chance to play against Frank, what do you think about UConn? Have you guys yeah. had a chance to kind of dive into them and what, what stands out? What do you remember about them? Uh, got good guard play. Great coaching staff, you know. Obviously knows what he's doing. And, um, yeah, good shot blocker in uh, Brian. How close are you guys? I mean, he was like, he was are you guys, ex you guys excited about tomorrow? I mean, I know there's probably a pressure, but is there a level of excitement as well? Yeah, well, you know, we're very excited for tomorrow. Um, we actually wish we played today, but, um, you know, uh, we can't wait. Um, we'll get back to the hotel, you know, go over scout report and uh, get some rest and, and be ready. And you guys don't play tomorrow like, until 7 or 6.45. What do you guys do to kind of, I don't know, maybe unwind or just kind of relax? You know, just, just Take care of your body, you know, uh, make sure you're feeling right for the game, um, you know, and just keep going over scout report, you know, um, you, you can't go over that en enough times, and, um, you know, like I said, just keep going over that, you know, get prepared. You guys have those Saturday, Monday turnarounds during the regular season all the time. How is that beneficial when you get to that kind of this stage? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You know, um, you know, uh, it's, it's great for us that we do that early in the season and, uh, and doing conference play because you know uh, we will have to do that now, and uh, I think we adjusted to that. I know you guys watched the first half at the hotel, and then it, the game seemingly changed between Colorado and UConn. So, what have you kind of? gathered from from what happened in the second half and your impressions of yeah well uh, I think Colorado uh, you know obviously played good the first half and uh, we didn't get a chance to see the second half so I don't really know what happened but um you know you were coming out making UConn had to show some fight and uh, they showed some toughness you know uh, they came back and uh, you know they, they took the game it seemed to be a pretty good, good defensive team they only give up about a little over 60 a game what have you what have you learned on UConn this far uh, you know we've got good guard play um, got good guards over there. Uh, great coaching staff. You know, um, you know they got a good shot blocker, in, uh, Brian. Bush. So, you know, pretty good defensive team. And uh, it's about. It's, it's Did you guys about. practice today already, or are you doing that later? Uh, we actually practice right after this. Fr Frank, you guys seem to be a loose and relaxed bunch. Behind closed doors, is there one guy that Does really keeps you guys loose, or kind of a, a comedian, or a guy that kind of? Keeps the locker room flowing. I think it's a, a, a lot of different guys that can do that. You know, it could be Devonte, it could be the Jamari Wayne. So we have a couple of different guys that that, that can uh, keep the guys loose and uh, you know laughing and, and smiling and ready to go. You're the comedian. <laughs> I'm not a comedian, but uh, you know sometimes you know I can make, make the guys laugh. Uh, they think I'm so funny. And uh, Devonte can be that, and uh, you know Jamari. It can be a couple of different guys. We always find you pretty locked in that's why we're asking here you always got the game face on for us yeah yeah that, that's pretty much who i am you know i always keep the game face on you know i'm ready to go what's what's the challenge in facing their guards they're pretty balanced kind of the same way you guys are you know like i said they got good guard play you know uh, it'll be a challenge for us to you know keep them in front of us and uh you know uh, just, just Play to the scouting reporter, you know, and, and do exactly what Coach wants us to do. So we give ourselves a chance to be successful.